Hi everyone, it's Juliet Grandma's Creations. Thanks for joining me again. The gadget that I've got for you this week is something um, you might recognise, but I'm not using it in the way that it's designed to be used, I don't think. What a surprise. So it's this. It's a three-way cording foot, and what it's used for is obviously putting cord um, onto your fabric, your project, whatever. But that's not exactly what I'm going to use it for. This is why I bought it. So this foot pops on like any other onto your sewing machine, and you can sew one between one and three cords onto a project. But I recently um, have been making things with gathers and the traditional way of gathering can be a real pain. So you have to usually, you have to sew two really basting stitches um, on your quite close to the edge of wherever you're going to you want to gather and then you knot one end and you pull the two up together but this is a complete faff and it takes ages so somebody I think it was John Scott first of all said this is the way he used to do gathers or he does gathers whenever he makes anything so um, if you've got uh, a skirt that's being gathered to go onto a bodice then this is the way he does it and then, so I did that and it was successful. But then I saw Claire Tyler of Tyler, of Tyler Couture and she said that she uses a three cord foot to hold the embroidery thread that you sew, zigzag over in place. So I thought I'd show you up close how you put the cord into this foot because it wasn't totally obvious when I uh, first saw this. So you, there's a little lip, little metal lip there, and you just push it, put your cord under the foot, and you just push it. I'm gonna use the middle one. There we are, you can see, you can see that's gone into the middle channel. And then off you go. So I've chosen the zigzag stitch on my machine, which is a number seven. And then you have to play about really, depending on your machine, to how wide you want your zigzag and how close together you want your zigzag. Obviously you don't want it too wide because you don't want that embroidery thread moving around too much. You want it pretty much fixed to where you've sewn it. And you don't want the stitch stitches to be too far apart because you won't get the proper gathers so i've just had a quick play around and i've got the width on three and the length so how far my stitches are apart is two so let's give it a go i've given the put the thread in the middle and i'm using white thread to show you afterwards just exactly how it's come out what that does is it holds that cord in place so you can sew it. So usually you'd be put doing this pretty much to the edge of your fabric, wouldn't you? Okay, but what that does just, is this foot just holds that cord in place. Stop it moving around when you are sewing. Because the other thing is, if it moves around and your needle catches the cord, it's not going to pull through, is it? It's going to stop it from pulling through. So, I mean, I like to do speedy sewing, but I wouldn't suggest you do this speedily, really. Keeping everything in line. So once you've done your zigzag, I'll show you what it looks like. So that's what mine looks like. Now for the gathering up. So this is a gathering effect that I've now got through gathering and it's a much quicker way. It's easier 
the, the embroidery floss doesn't thread doesn't break so you're not going to lose those gathers and then what you do is you just sew onto whatever you need to sew it onto and then you just remove the embroidery thread there we go it's as easy as that